Ever wondered what you should do if the mother dog doesn't remove the sac and sever the umbilical cord after birth? In the natural course of canine birth, the mother usually handles these tasks. She'll lick and clean her pups, stimulating them while also removing the birth sac and severing the umbilical cord. But sometimes, especially in cases of first-time mothers or those under stress, she might not follow through. This can leave you wondering, what's next? So, let's explore what you can do in such a situation. First and foremost, don't panic. You can help the newborn puppy in this situation. It's important to remember that, while the mother dog usually takes care of this, sometimes she might need a little assistance. So, here's what you need to do. Start by finding a soft, clean towel. Gently, and I mean very gently, use it to remove the birth sac from the puppy. Be careful not to pull or tug, as newborn puppies are incredibly delicate. The idea is to mimic the mother's licking motion, which she uses to clean and stimulate the puppy. Next, you'll need to deal with the umbilical cord. Get a piece of clean thread or dental floss. You're going to tie this around the cord, about an inch away from the puppy's body. Be careful not to tie it too tight, just enough to stop the blood flow. Now, you'll need a pair of sterilized scissors. You're going to cut the cord on the side further from the puppy. Be sure to sanitize these scissors beforehand. You can do this by boiling them or soaking them in a disinfectant solution. It's vital to keep everything as clean as possible to avoid introducing any infections. It's important to understand that these steps aren't typically necessary, as mother dogs usually handle this process instinctively. But, in the rare case that she doesn't, your intervention could make all the difference. Remember, your intervention is crucial to the puppy's survival. Once you've successfully helped the puppy, it's not over just yet. There's more to do to ensure the puppy's health. The moments following the intervention are crucial. First and foremost, the puppy needs to stay warm. If possible, guide the pup towards its mother for body heat and the first nourishing milk, called colostrum. This first milk is packed with antibodies that will help the newborn fight off diseases. It's also important to keep a close eye on both the puppy and its mother. Monitor them for any signs of distress or complications. Is the puppy nursing well? Is the mother dog behaving normally? These are the questions you should be asking. If anything seems out of the ordinary, don't hesitate to contact a vet immediately. Remember, early intervention is key when dealing with potential health issues. By following these steps, you can step in and help when a mother dog doesn't remove the sac and sever the umbilical cord, potentially saving a life.